In today's video, we are going to be working on with David some drills where he is going to be able to translate catching the ball into finishing with a shot or with a layup. This, these are fantastic drills for players to be able to have more ball control after receiving the pass so that they can finish and score more points in their next game. So let's get down, let's check this out. And everyone, David worked really hard, so make sure to go down in the comment section below and say, hey David, good job on today's workout. Okay, so in this first drill, we're going to have David do stutter steps on the ground. We call these fire feet, stutter steps, whatever you want to do, or whatever you want to call them. We're going to throw that ball somewhat quickly just outside of his reach. When he receives that pass, he's either going to go in for the layup or the shot, or we can make him do an up and under, different types of moves that we can make players do or that they would do in game. You can have the ball roll, you can throw it up extremely high, you can go way out to his left side, way out to his right side, but he has to translate it into either a layup, a shot, a floater, whatever, some kind of a move, something that is quick and fast so that he is able to translate that in game. In this next drill, we're going to have him shuffle between the two elbows, and then we're going to pass the ball to where he was, not where he's going. So a lot of players sometimes will have issues stopping or catching the ball that is going in the opposite direction as to where they came from. I know we always try and teach our players to lead the pass. However, that's not always going to be the case in game. Players have to be able to catch balls in many different situations, and this is obviously one of them. So being able to have a player go quickly between the elbows and being able to catch the ball that is trailing them from behind, being able to turn and go for a layup is going to be very beneficial into allowing them to be able to finish layups in game off of a terrible pass. Now in this drill, what we're going to have is the player, in this case David, shuffling between the two low blocks. What we're going to try and do is to hit that ball off the backboard. He's not looking at us as the coach or trainer. What he's looking at is the backboard. He's trying to figure out where this ball is going and then being able to track it down and of course finish with the layup while keeping the ball high above his head or chest. And then we're going to transition this into a quick pivot as we see right here in these clips that I've been showing. So David would get that rebound, he would land, pivot away from the player so that he has his body between the imaginary defender and the ball. This way he can go up for the baby hook and be able to make the shot afterwards. We're not always going to be able to go straight back up after a rebound. Sometimes you need to make a pivot so that you can get your body between the defender and the ball so that you have a harder time of getting your shot blocked. In this next drill, what we are doing here is basically having a player run towards the basket, cutting baseline, but catching the ball with his right hand. We do this on the left or on the right side as well with his left hand, but the idea here is to catch the ball with the hand that you would normally not be catching with when cutting on that side. And what this is going to do for the player is the ability to catch and then transition from the catch without using two hands to gather the ball if possible and then going straight back up with that one hand. This is really going to work with your wrist strength, your hand strength, your coordination, and your overall ability to be able to catch the ball and finish at the rim. I hope that these drills help you be able to have more scoring potential in your next game, and hopefully you score more points and get less turnovers potentially. Anyways, I hope that these drills do help you. If they do, hit that like button, subscribe, make sure to say down in the comment section below, David, that you did a fantastic job because he really did work hard during this training session. We went for a little over an hour and he worked extremely hard. Anyways, I hope that these did help. Hit that like button, subscribe. I'll see you guys again next time.